And you can see a body inside. I don't want anybody to be in any doubt about the scale of the challenge to go from no policing experience to competent effective certified detective status over the course of two years, it is a big ask. I was 14 when Stephen Lawrence murder happened. He was murdered by four white men. Um, the police took little action. The investigation was flawed because of these biased attitudes. I had quite a negative perception of the police for a long time about what they do and how they handle non-white people, essentially. Being a police officer growing up, um, it's just not an organisation I wanted to associate myself with or be part of. So growing up, I was very interested in football, played in a lot of the local leagues, and when I was about 16, I was signed by Norwich City. There was then the opportunity to represent England schoolboys. first game that we played on Sky was against Scotland. In the second half, I scored. It's Kelly who's in unfamiliar territory. Options in the middle, and England have got a second goal. Twin this time by Kenny Reeves. And that was something I'll remember forever. If maybe I'd put slightly more effort in and done everything I could to make it, then things could have turned out differently. So that's what I've tried to do with this. I've worked in a few jobs where you're working there to get money for shareholders or for other people, and it didn't really motivate me. A number of years I was soul searching what I wanted to do. I found the fire service and, and took up that opportunity. But after 10 years, just wanted to do something different and have something more of a challenge. And the police offers that. When you put that uniform on, you know it's game time. Whatever day you've had, however you feel, as soon as you get into work and put your boots on, you're there to do a job. Game time. So we're going to an RTC, it's on a dual carriageway coming towards Cambridgeshire. So the car's gone into the central reservation, there's two other cars behind it. Before this scheme I was a secondary school business studies teacher. I suppose when someone told me, oh you're teaching a GCSE business studies lesson at 9am, I never got a, like, adrenaline shooting through me, oh god I'm going to go and teach a lesson. It's definitely different to a Monday morning marking work. So I remember the first time I was in a police car, I remember thinking, oh there's a police car coming and then I realised I was the one actually in it. We've just had through on our radio that's been concerned with welfare and address. Uh, we've just had a message from a PCSO stating that uh, he's round at the address, the door is unlocked and he can see a body inside. With policing you do get a real buzz in terms of, oh someone's in danger, you need to go and help them. You don't know what's going to happen from day to day and the unpredictability of it is what also keeps it exciting. And, so you can go home at the end of the day thinking oh, I've met, hopefully made a difference to that person's life. My first day on response, I was very nervous because ultimately I didn't want to make a mistake, I didn't want to make the wrong decision, which could affect people's lives for a long time. Who do people call in an emergency? You know, it's the police when they don't know who to turn to. It's where you cut your teeth. Um, on the front line, don't know what you go into. Every day's different. Absolutely love it. So what we've got at the moment is a burglary in progress. So the objective was obviously get there as soon as possible. It's 16 minutes according to Google Maps. 
what reassurance can you give to members of the public? They might think, I don't want to have a fresh graduate coming to my door. Uh, everybody's got to start somewhere. My focus is on making sure that we, uh, for those officers who join the police service through Police Now, that we give them absolutely the very best uh, start that we possibly can. The question is, do you feel ready to go out into the field after having been training for 12 weeks? And the answer is yes, I do. Yeah. Since we've turned up, we've found that they are deceased. It's the first time I've been to something like this where they've had to do a few investigations. At the end of the day, it can be life and death. And if I'm really honest, before my very first shift when we went out, I was very nervous. You know, I'm not sure that anybody who's been to any of those things, you know, as I have, you know, during my policing service would say that there's ever enough time to prepare you for some of the things that you see. From thinking it was uh, suspicious to start off with, I think once they've looked at the body more, it feels that she may have potentially had a fall uh, and then be kind of been left in that position for a number of weeks. They're never, well, for me anyway, they're never easy to get on. I don't think my height helps. Does it affect you at all, do you think? Or? When you're there dealing with the body, you kind of have to take the personal element away from it and then think about that after when you're dealing with the victims and that sort of thing, or the loved ones. What you're investigating could be one of the most traumatic times of their life. And so it's important to have some sense of sensitivity. So they've gone in through the house, they haven't actually gone in the, they haven't gone in through the attic. Right, okay. All right, we'll go and, we'll go and visit them now and then see um, see what's happened. All right. Hello. Hi, are you Pavel? Pavel, yeah. Do you report a burglary to us or something uh, yeah, coming no, in? Yeah, I'm not burglary, but... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Bad timing. Just tell me what happened, basically. One went upstairs to check the roof and I don't know... I think some of the skills that are really important as an investigator are having that thoroughness. Got a description of him at all? Um, okay, large build. Yeah nothing is missing or there's no damage or anything so get your builder to come back tomorrow we'll give him a ring as well and speak to him if there is any more concerns or you see anything else that's suspicious then do give us a call back for me if i've done everything that i can do for now to make sure that that family is safe in their own home am i happy that they're going to be safe tonight and ongoing and the answer is, to that is yes it is really really challenging uh you know one moment it is dealing with what we might call sort of um Traditional crime, uh, you know, car crime or burglary or something like that. Um, and the next moment um, it is uh, working with uh, maybe the NHS, working with uh, the local authority um, to offer support to uh, somebody who is in a really, really difficult place. So there is concern for welfare of a female, concerns it could be a mental health episode. Excuse me, you didn't have a woman in there recently or uh, acting very strangely? Yes, yeah, she was sat outside for quite a while. Yeah. Um, she was talking to herself through the window and stuff. So we've met her a few on a few occasions and she does tend to come here because she has sort of ideations of jumping in front of a train. This is one of the last locations that she was found last time she went missing. that's got a lot of responsibility with it. Taking people's liberties away, um, seeing people in, in their worst of times, if you like, um, and making decisions based on those, it's a big, big ask and a big task. There's a um, stabbing that's just been reported in. I suspect they might send the firearms unit there. Her and that he's going to stab her and your kids. I said, not um, they've had, it sounds like they've had some words or something, and he sort of said something along the lines of, oh, what do you think I'm going to do, stab the baby? So then she's then going, oh, he's got, he's got a knife, he's got a machete, and that's how it's sort of escalated a bit. Um, In my career, I've come across 
uh, police officers, whether they're uniform officers, whether they're uh, detectives, uh, whether they're working elsewhere, uh, who have been absolutely fantastic, really at the top of their game. And some of those officers have had 35 years experience, uh, and some of those officers have had 35 months experience or less. Hello, it's the police, can you let us in? I'm 37 years old now and just joined the police. If I knew now what I knew then, I would have started this job straight from school, definitely. And I'm envious of all the other guys and girls on my course that are 10 years younger than me, that are just starting their careers um, and they get to experience this job for a lot longer than what I will. Uh, that makes me a little bit jealous. Jump in, gents. Uh, it has been tough and it has been hard work. Ultimately, by putting in that work, it means you've got the knowledge when you come out the other end and now we're putting it into practice. I haven't had much downtime for the past five, six months, really, which has been quite difficult. It's put a lot of strain on relationships with family and friend and has meant that I see my kids less. They understand how important it is to me and they're willing to support me through this and help me. I just don't know how difficult it would be if you didn't have that support of family really, and friends.